ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Fizz. Welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today, we're doing a special, uh, different video. Um, the reasoning why is my main game file is kind of corrupted right now. I am kind of fixing it, but I kind of took a break. I'm trying to actually fixing it to uh, to showcase something new. Um, obviously, when you lose your game, main game file, uh, a lot of things can happen. Uh, but I'm, hopefully, I can get it fixed. But I just I had to get away from it. I wanted to record something different. So today, we're going to take a look at one of the most popular subscribe mod or blueprints or something. I, I guess you could say on the Steam page for Planet Zoo, and it's an actual completed zoo called Zoo Limpia, Zoo Limp. I think that's what, how you say it, and it's created by someone called uh, Cyril Tarela, and it is a beautiful, gorgeous um, uh, map. I mean, it, it is pretty laggy because it is massive, uh, but I wanted to showcase it to you and uh, talk about it. So, the animals that are included into this park is elephants, bison, uh, we have giraffes, buffaloes, peacocks, flamingos, lions, tortoises, uh, uh, we also have armadillos, I think. I think it's armadillos. I'm not quite sure on that, actually. <laughs> um, we also have some uh, ostriches. We also have warthogs, black buffalo. And I think there's like two other animals that I'm missing from the list. But for the most part, I think that's what we have. And as you can tell, this thing is pretty big now granted it's not the entire map which you don't ever need to make your zoos the entire map but i wanted to showcase this because it's always good to look at other people's creations and get some other inspiration because you never know i mean always thinking about and looking at what you're creating is not a bad idea but looking at other people's creations and their creativity and just looking at how they've created something so beautiful is also something that people always should always look at i mean because I, I look at this just just the entrance alone i i am flabbergasted and i am i'm in love with this 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 is super absolutely gorgeous and it it looks beautiful so um yeah so let's <laughs> let's take a look um i guess i'm going to quickly look at the map and see which animals are where and then we'll go to each and every exhibit and then at the end we'll kind of showcase the rest of it and then i'll give you my final thoughts of the whole thing and uh i will put the um mod page I, I don't know what it's called i guess it's called a workshop download i'll put that in the description it'll be the first thing you see um in the description and also i'll put it in the comments so if you wanted to download this yourself and also create this because you could technically download this she does have he or she does have it as a um as a addition that you can add on to this so um it is a pretty cool starter zoo for people that want to get started but don't know how to get started so very very cool all righty so first thing let's take a look at this beautiful enclosure of these beautiful tortoises uh what the actual breed of tortoises are they the uh uh al i can't even say that word albrant giant tortoise and uh this is their ba ba this is their basically enclosure and i'm loving how um they have this beautiful rock feature with this waterfall i we've been actually we have been experimenting with this in our playthrough so i'm happy to see that people are really in love with this kind of feature which i i personally love too i like how they use this i didn't know you could actually use this barrier the uh hedge barrier for that that's pretty cool I like that a lot oh my god look at this it's a beautiful enclosure oh look at this that's cute This is where they sleep. I like it. Now, oh my god, there's so many. So how many actual animals are actually in this enclosure? To be precise. Um, there's 13 animals in here. Wow, that's a lot of baby turtles. And it's a relatively big enclosure. Now, are they... Is everything perfect? Is everyone happy with them? The view from there is not very good. I was supposed to view from... Okay, so it looks like the view problem is not being happy and i'm assuming the view problem with this enclosure is going to be like right here and also this whole back wall right here probably i think let me see can is there a walkway right here oh there is but it's not much of a uh yeah it's not much of a view area so i'm going to assume the rock formation is causing a, a viewer um viewing problem with it but that's okay this park is more of of uh you know 
beauty than anything and and this by far is absolutely gorgeous look at this look how cute they are there let's zoom in on one there he goes can't control the camera for some reason but there he goes <laughs> very cute very nice i like this enclosure this is also an area where they can sleep I like it. So they have two this they have two different areas to sleep in. They have here and here. But the rock formation I absolutely love. So yeah. Definitely going to take a note in the books for making this next time. And I like how this is. That looks so natural. Looks so good. Okay, so here we have the Galapagos tortoise, which we've had these in the past. Oh my god. <gasps> Is is that a st made statue? Oh my god, that looks so cute. Oh, I got distracted on that. Wow, these are really these are really good. I'm not I haven't seen these statues before. Anyways, um, yeah, this enclosure is pretty cool too. We got a nice little big water area. Let's see what the uh, people are saying about this area. Uh, the view, so the view is still having a problem. The view, so I'm gonna assume. The view problem is going to be something around the middle area and then this section right here. Um, probably because that's usually what happens with people being complained like because they can't see all the they can't see the animal all the time. But it looks absolutely gorgeous as well. How many are in this in this enclosure? Only two two males, so it looks like there is no breeding happening in this, but that's OK. If you download this, you could probably switch it up and have it start breeding. They also have a sleeping area. Oh my god, look at that. So cute. Adorable. I like how this one's more simplified, though. Where you have a water feature right here in the middle. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like that. In the walkways around the walkways around both of these are exquisite i love them look how beautiful and integrate and decorative also look at the boards so this is what the two boards look like so this one looks like that and then what's the other one yeah okay so the other one looks the same absolutely incredible i absolutely love it also that is the wolf i didn't know you could change the color of it interesting huh very 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 nice so yeah the two tortoises are a win in my books. Next we have is the beautiful flamingos. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Look at this. Now this is an enclosure. How many how many flamingos are there? There's 12. Four males, four girls, it looks like. Excellent, excellent. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Anyways. So I like how so for flamingos, right? You can have them go, you can, ha I think you can have people go into the enclosure, right? And, um, the person, what they did was, had them go in the enclosure, but also not really being in the enclosure, which also is really nice. Where are the flamingos? There's one, look at that beautiful little thing. This is nice. Yeah, this is a really nice enclosure. I like this. It's very clean. And very formal with the gate to keep them in. And a little pathway. And it's honestly, it's pretty big. It's a pretty rectangle. And you got this section over here for them to sleep and hide. Which I'm assuming these guys are well taken care of. Yep, stress levels and everything are perfect. Uh, except for this. But... That's okay. The rock features are really cool. I like that. Now, what's the negativity of this enclosure right now? So the view. So it looks like for a lot of these um, these enclosures, I'm gonna say the view is probably the least thing. But I mean, what I've what I've seen in this game, right, is <laughs> if you want to build something nice. Sometimes it takes a long time. Also, look at this line over here. What is this line for? For balloons? Holy crap. 
that's a big lines for balloons anyways is it's really hard you have to really balance between having a very beautiful enclosure and also having enough viewing space for people to view because the uh, people are very critical about what you're seeing in the enclosure but i think i think the volcano uh the flamingos are, it's a beautiful enclosure very simplified and very beautiful in its design and it also works right next to the peacocks i think this is where the peacocks are right next door where 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 is the uh where are we at here let's see how many yep indian pe oh peaceful sorry not peacock well pretty much peacock but look at that beautiful look at this beautifulness This is actually really beautiful. I'm, 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 I'm never did anything with my peacocks. Mine just went ballistic and honestly went over breeding. <laughs> but once again, they also have a double. They also have a pathway, but this time it is on the ground, and it wraps around the little waterfall, the little uh, water feature in the middle, and it honestly it works and it looks pretty spectacular and amazing. I like it. Now, what's their complaint in this enclosure? If I can click on it. There we go. The habitat is pretty barren. I mean, I guess you could say it is, but it looks really gorgeous. It's very clean. And I like it. Very cute. And I like how this is hidden in here. This is all the staff facilities on one side. So instead of having a massive... Um, facility of one giant uh keeper hut the the person put i think three four it looks like three medical bay here too and look at that it blends in and it's super hidden and we have staff only right here beautiful i didn't see what it was on this side i think this side has the same thing as staff facilities as well. Yep. We have a keeper's hut right there. We also have another keeper's hut right there. What is this? Medical bay or... Uh, nope. Research bay. And then what do we have? Staff room. Yep. Staff room. And quarantine. Yeah, overall. This is pretty cool. So this... Oh, and then... This is the middle area. So this is the uh, the plaza of the uh, zoo Lempa. Lempa, I think that's how you say it. You have all your food areas. You have your seating. This is really nice. That's not nice. What the heck's happening there? Hmm. Maybe some pathing problems right there. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Look at that. Look at that screenshot right there. That is a screenshot. Look how amazing this building is. This is freaking gorgeous. The detail on this. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Clock even works. That is gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. So, so now we've looked at all of these in this area. Let's take a look at the left side first, and then we'll work our way over to the top and over there. All right, so start with the left side. It looks like we have the African lions. This enclosure is amazing. We also have, it looks like we have some shops. Yep, more shops. We have some power and water over there. More food places. <laughs> it just keeps going that way. But let's look at this enclosure right here. This looks amazing. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it's a whole lion den. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a cool idea. Oh wow, I like it. Although I don't, I don't know if lions like to climb that much. I've never, I don't think they do.
This is pretty cool. Look at that lion. It's all nice and wet. Just like, I just take a bath. Give me some food, damn it. Wow, look at this pride. Holy crap, this is pretty cool. And also, it looks like they have a thing. Now, I'm going to assume that this is going to have viewing problems as well. Who alerts? Got. Wow, it's got a lot. Holy crap, it's got a lot of damn animals. 22 animals in here? Good lord almighty. Uh, I suppose the view, yeah. So it, it doesn't look like the view's not bad in here. But this looks incredible. Look at that. Oh, what the heck? How the heck did you get up there? Oh, I s Wait, what? Huh? Get out of town. The keepers can actually walk on those? I did not know that. That's pretty dope. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. This this enclosure is pretty incredible. I mean, like, the enclosure is pretty magnificent because, like, it's surrounded by this huge building which has um, all these shops and everything inside. And then people could just view everything from out in, from in here to out there. Now, is this it? No. Oh, what is that? Okay, so that's just one solid piece. So this is the actual uh, fencing. It looks like it stops here. Oh, I see. Okay, so the whole this whole backside is just fake fencing. Okay. What the heck is this little thing? Oh, that's cool. That's another enclosure. Yeah, this is this is amazing. I love this. I love this. This looks so cool. Definitely giving me some inspiration next time for when we do lions. I haven't done lions yet, actually. Oh, look at that. Look at that view. Yeah, that's that's where the people like the view. Look at that. That's incredible. What's over here? We got some more food shops. That's the, uh... Okay, yeah, so that's the second area. Pretty cool. I like it. Very nice. And I think I saw this is a new enclosure over here, which is what? What animal are you? Oh, it's the, uh... It's the, uh, Aardvark. Aardvark. I haven't actually seen one of these yet. This is the first time I'm seeing one. I think this is a pre-order exclusive, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> Very interesting. Now, this enclosure is weird to me because it's an L shape, I think, right? Yeah, and this is the only areas they can see, so all this is kind of hidden away. Which I guess it works. What do we have? Keepers that are stuck or something? This looks gorgeous, too. Oh my god, look at them go! Oh my god. Now let's see, how are people liking this enclosure? You can't see the Arbok very well from here, can you? I okay, yeah, so this this enclosure would have to be reworked for sure. Because this one is def- it's gorgeous, but it's definitely not a good viewing one for people to get that viewing. But it looks so good though. I like it. That's very cool. And then what do we have here? These the elephants? African elephants! So this is the African elephants. How many how many elephants are in this enclosure? Five. We have five elephants in here. And this doesn't look too bad. It looks like we have another inner area right here that has oh wow, look at that. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Hello, can I get back down there, please? Thank you. Yeah, damn it. I hate sometimes when you're zooming with this game, it, it bugs out. Oh, that is... That is pretty cool. So we have an inner area. Oh, this is good. Oh my god, I like this. Oh my... I remember when I've... I've been to the zoos, right? I've been to a bunch of zoos. And I remember this kind of being a thing for the giraffes, where the giraffes would come up to you and there always would be like a, a, a zookeeper right there, right here. And it would let you feed the giraffe some food and stuff and let him lick you or something. Oh man. Incredible. I like this. This is, this is nice. So you have this inner area 
right? For the elephants to have a chillaxing, maybe it's raining or whatever, weather conditions, they don't want to be outside, they can all come inside here. Um, I think this could be overkill, but I mean, it's whatever. We have the walking people through the walls again. But this looks really cool. I love this too, this water feature. Very nice. Yeah, this is cool. Now, what do we have over here? It looks like a lot of shops and food areas. Holy moly. Yeah, nice views of the elephants. And then we come to the middle area, which also connects to the uh, central walkway area with the food plaza and everything which is really nice so it looks like i'm gonna assume that this is over here some other animals we'll take a look at that in a second but yeah so if you wanted to you could download this and look at all the extra areas out here so i don't know how you would do it though right because how would you compete how would you build this building again i mean you could just do this you could control d and just copy and paste this and then you know build it more off like that and then build more i mean i don't know it's a it's a daunting task but i i, I it is a it is this is a great build so far for someone that is starting out on planet zoo and has done all the tutorials i highly recommend doing the tutorials i've said that multiple times because if you don't your creative builds will still just die i mean like right now i should be oh uh, yeah i should i should probably be working on this stuff like there yeah is hungry. What do you mean you're hungry? Not my fault. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So I don't know. It's a good step in stone, but I highly recommend doing the tutorial first, and then maybe you could download this and start playing around with it. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the next area, shall we? All right. So now we have is the uh, pronghorn antelopes. Which I think is also with giraffes, if I remember correctly, or bison. Ah, it's with bison. American bison. Very interesting. So I, it's surprising that you can actually have these two mingle. Very interesting. Would not expect that. But there you have it. Very cool, very cool. I personally would have put a giraffes here. This would have been cool to have the giraffes. The giraffes and the elephants right next to each other. Because then you have an area right here which would be like, you know, can simulate about simulate about them being able to touch them. Wow, there's a lot of people over here. Holy crap. I think there's more people over there. Nah, it looks like the same. There's like there's 4,000 people in this park. That is crazy. Anyways, let's take a look. Keep going this way. So we have more shops, hats, more shops and hats there as well. And then we have this split into, I'm pretty sure this is the giraffe area. Oh my God, look at this. Holy crap. That's how a giraffe sleeps? What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen a giraffe sleep before. Hold on, I gotta Google this shit. There's no way that's what a giraffe does when it's sleeping. Oh, this also has what? What animal is this? Uh, sable antelope. I, I'm I hopefully I'm pronouncing that word properly. But this is a really nice enclosure too. This is pretty cool. This water feature. Definitely not too bad. Wow, pretty incredible. And then also we have this beautiful walkway once again. Damn. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. I love this. It's personally not my favorite. I definitely think in the lion one so far is my indeed favorite uh, enclosure. But this is still a, a pretty good rank. Uh, look at this little water feature with the with the water sprout coming out. Uh, did, they, did they really sleep like that? Hold on, I gotta Google this. All right, Google doesn't lie. I just Googled sleeping giraffe. 
And apparently, I've never seen a, a giraffe sleep like this before. I've never actually seen a giraffe sleep. But, so that's that's pretty cool. I, I I learned something new, and you all did learn something new too. Oh, they're all they're all awake now. That's incredible. All right, what's the next enclosure? So we got more of a walkway again. Beautiful little walkway. I think this is our final enclosure, and this I think it's the biggest. I think it has to be. Next to, yeah, the lion one is pretty big, and this one has to be big. So I'm assuming this one has multiple animals, which indeed it does. So what animals does this have here? Um, how do I look at the habitat? Let's look right there. Uh, how many animals do we have in total? So it looks like we have uh, American, African buffalo, so we have three. We have 22 ostriches, and then we have, how many, 10 uh, Thompson gazelles, and then we have... Uh, 15 warthogs! Holy crap! This thing, this enclosure is really packed to the bone. But look at this ecosystem. Oh. Ignore that. Yeah, just ignore that. Wow. This is a packed ecosystem. Holy crap. Okay, I would say maybe this might be too many animals in here. But this looks so good. Look at this water feature here. Oh my god. Wait, you did too? No? Okay, good. Oh, and this big waterfall right here too. Incredible. What do they what do the people say about this enclosure? Uh, I suppose the view from the common ostrich is, uh, eh, where's the view? It's probably talking about something like right, right in general in this area. It's probably talking about that for the view. Yeah, look at that. Incredible. That is super duper incredible. Wow. What a damn park. I'm, I'm blown away by this. So, I want to talk about real quick before we end the episode about this in, in place. So, like I said, this is a Steam Workshop um, download. When you download it, all you need to do is just hit subscribe and then you go to um, my zoos and then it'll be right there. You go to deal downloads and it's right there. I highly recommend if you are very, if you are in, or if you're in a creative stump, you know, it's not bad to look at other people's creations because obviously, Many different people have different ideas of creating things and by far this is incredibly built. I am astonished and amazed and it's honestly very impressive and I it brings me back but it has a, so many different and new techniques and ideas that I never thought about. Like for instance, this is a great one that I really like is for for mingos, you know, you can have a walkway and going in for them into them but why not have a walkway going above the water into a different into the enclosure instead instead of doing something like this you know or having like the lion's den having it being map what happened to him look at him where's he going no idea what happened to him anyways um having the lion's den being uh honestly having a it, it being in the middle or something and having it this massive thing i mean this is this is incredible so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, like I said, I'm sorry, the next episode will be our park again, but I had to, I just had to take a break from fixing it, and I saw this, and I really wanted to do a video on it, because it seems incredible. Um, do, if you do like it, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, and, uh, if you do download it, you know, may, definitely rate it up, I'm gonna definitely rate mine up and favorite it, because it is a pretty cool and unique, uh, park, and I'm quite happy with it, I, I quite like it, so, but, uh, yeah, that's it! Enjoy the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, hopefully uh, I can get my game fixed for the next episode.